overall, I've been able to give my students something that they can be successful with. For some students, they have this great interest in music and they carry it all the way out for the rest of their lives. She taught me how to you know, play ukulele and all that really just transcribed into the, uh, to me wanting to play guitar. And uh, well, it's been something I've been wanting to do for, for a while. For other students, I think it just gives them the courage to try things that they've never tried before. It made me feel like I'm a champion in other things. Like, um, I can do this. Like, I can, I can go in front of a lot of people and perform and not be scared. I try to make my room available. I have kids that come in at lunch and eat lunch with me or they'll work on their parts. My room's open in the mornings and they come and they practice marimba, drums, talent show, whatever it is and sometimes even in the afternoons I work with kids. The great thing about Mrs. Anderson is that she doesn't see students for IEPs or learning struggles. Um, she believes that every child has music inside them and because of that um, she works in the best way possible just to bring that out in them. I always am looking for opportunities to promote what's going on inside my classroom each and every day. And I think the parents and the community really appreciate it. People stop. They watch. You hear people standing there saying, what do you mean that's an elementary school? That, that can't be an elementary school. They're really good. In my music program, I try to give every single kid an opportunity to perform. Being in Ms. Anderson's class has helped me with self-confidence a lot by going to all these performances. I've done it over and over again and I don't really have, I have a lot of self-confidence and I don't get stage fright as much as I probably would have if I hadn't been doing all these performances. And what she teaches the kids, she teaches them there's a whole world. If you're not really good at reading the notes, there's so much more to music than just reading the notes. Or there's drumming, there's different kinds of drums. I mean, these kids, the whole world music culture is alive in her classes. I'm always volunteering to mentor other teachers. She let me listen to it, and if I was in the least bit reluctant, she said, oh, well, here's another one. Maybe this one's easier. And it was obvious that she wanted me to be equipped so that I could help those children who knew nothing about these countries. They're orphans out of the country in Rwanda. But she wanted them to have the opportunity to learn about music in other places. I volunteer to teach workshops for the district. And I've even brought world music drumming to my campus this summer. And I asked the school district if they could help fund that. And it was such a joy to find out that our district was going to fund the $400 cost for each and every one of our elementary teachers. Ready, go, Deep After working here for a few years, I began to have a concern for the growth of our elementary music program. I noticed that we had teachers that weren't certified to teach music. So I approached our director of elementary curriculum. She's helped put criteria and credentials in place. She was really important to that process so that now we hire the best of music teachers, the best qualified. Five years later, I'm proud to say we still have an elementary music teacher in every school. There's so much uh, impact this music program has had on my children. Everybody's family. And she finds kids who might have got, fallen through the cracks and people might not have noticed that they have these musical talents. You know, she finds them and helps them pursue it and it improves them in other ways too. In classroom, you can see their behavior get better in the classroom because they want to go perform with her and they want to impress her.